This is a demonstration video of the Best Value Vax one gallon flat vacuum chamber kit uh, that comes with a 3 CFM vacuum pump. In your kit, you receive your chamber and your pump. These items will actually ship separate. They come from our location. They ship on the same day and if you order before 1 o'clock they're going to ship that day. Um, so note when you get your tracking number that there's going to be two parcels in the shipment. Alright, inside your vacuum chamber box you're going to have your chamber. Uh, this is an aluminum one gallon container. You're going to have your lid with the removable silicone gasket. When it comes, you're going to have paper on the lid, so you're going to have to remove the paper. Uh, it protects it from shipping, and then fit on your gasket. It fits on like a rubber band, very easy. You're going to get a liquid-filled gauge, and you're going to get uh, nickel-plated brass hardware. Uh, what you need to do to prepare the chamber is cut the top of the gauge. There's a little black nipple here, and I just use a razor blade to cut the nipple. And what that will do is allow this to calibrate and read accurately for us. On the vacuum pump side, what you're going to need to do is it comes with a bottle of oil in our kit. We use a very lightweight, high viscosity oil. It's almost water clear. Uh, the reason being is it, be, it actually produces nearly no uh, oil mist, which is fantastic. So you can use it indoors and it doesn't create a lot of uh, smoke in the air that other vacuum pumps do. Um, the other really great thing about this, other than it being orange, uh, the uh, pumps, we bring them in ourselves and we have a lot of the parts spec'd out. These gas caps, uh, and these check valves are actually spec'd out for us. So, uh, particularly this check valve is this part right here on the pump, and what it does is it allows the pump, when it's shut off, to uh, hold a little, retain a little bit of the vacuum pressure within the pump uh, between the chamber and the line. The reason why this is important is if you were to shut off your vacuum pump and there's a vacuum pulled in here, if this valve is not closed, it will pull oil straight through here and into your vacuum chamber because remember this is under vacuum, so it's going to be chasing up the line to this gas port. It's actually going to pour oil all over your product. Alright, so to uh, fire up your pump, open up your bottle of oil and fill between the min and the max line on the front of the pump. You can fill right here the gas cap, which is actually an exhaust port, or the red cap. doesn't matter. Either way will be fine. You're going to take the cap off. Included in the kit, with every chamber, uh, is our, uh, we call this our flare bar, and the reason that is is because it's a bar on one side, flare on the other. This is a flare fitting. Our flare fittings on our vacuum pumps fit our flare bar fittings. Uh, a lot of people that sell these chambers don't actually include this part. We designed this part ourselves uh, specifically for our vacuum pumps, but they also fit universally. Uh, your vacuum pump flare ports are typically anywhere from 32 to 45 degrees on the pitch. Uh, we designed this to be 37 and a half degrees, which is the sweet spot. So you're going to make sure you tighten this up. It's important that you tighten all of these connections because they are all potential leak points. So if this were to be loose, you get a, a low vacuum reading here. Well, it's because you're losing, you're losing pressure right here. All right, so to fit on your hose, you're just going to push it onto the, uh, the barbed fitting there. And then we're going to fit this one on right here. Okay. And then we're going to turn on our pump. Close this valve. To initiate a vacuum, I just press firmly on the lid here. Uh, with our flat hands, the edge is uh, a, a rolled edge. So even though the edge is, is fairly flat, sometimes you just need to give it a little uh, bit of push to get it started. Um, in our instruction sheet that comes with every chamber, it's kind of a checklist for you to go through so you can follow all these directions and set your chamber up. On the back, we have some frequently asked questions where we also have our uh, mailing address and our phone number where we can be contacted uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call. Uh, so let's see where we're at. We're at about uh, minus 28 and a half. We're located about 800 feet above sea level. Our typical vacuum at our shop here is 29 uh, inches of mercury approximately. And um, I can let this run for a few more minutes and then I'll definitely be able to hit that full mark. Uh, but for the sake of the video, I think I'll just kind of cut it short here. So, all right, we're at about mm, 29 almost. The gauge itself is plus or minus 0.5 inches of mercury accuracy. Uh, it's a very nice gauge that we have supplied with our kits. So when you're ready, you can just shut this valve, turn off your pump, and disconnect this hose if you want. You can see that we're holding a nice vacuum chamber here. And if you want to open it up, 